you feel when you know you're unwanted? That's how I feel. I have to pretend to be what I'm not. I told him like a friend, if I'm with you, then I feel as if you're supposed to be my wife. There's no longer a debate in Uganda. We don't recognize homosexuality as a human right here. The anti-homosexuality bill, which was tabled in Parliament, proposes life imprisonment for gay activity and death for aggravated homosexuality. Homosexuals, they eat each other's rectum. They eat their food. Americans and Europeans. They want us to eat their poison of homosexuality. We're saying no. I received another letter from the archbishop. This is blue launch. Vigorous crusade against all forms of homosexuality. When the religious right people from America came, they claimed that we are recruiting young children in schools. It's when they formed the anti gay coalition, rainbow. It's the rainbow, it's our color. Okay. I'm the very first gay man to be open in Uganda. I'm a teacher by profession. I went to one of the best schools, and here I am. I was like, I'm attracted to women, I'm infected with HIV, AIDS. What the hell is this? He used to find me doing something with a girl. And he was like, no, that is not right. I'm going to teach you what you're supposed to do with a boy. I would swallow a heap of heels. I wanted to die softly. There is this woman now, is she a creature? Is she a human being, really? Those are the comments of people. The first outing which came up in the papers was 2007 where we had this list of the top homosexual men in Kampala. They mentioned the location where I live. Actually, I remember I cried. I cried, yeah. If this bill passes, they say within 24 hours, someone should report the person who wants to be gay. We are really going back into a ministry regime. We want to keep on fighting until we see a liberated deep lesbian, gays, bisexual, transgender people. If what they're doing is evil. It's not evil. The ones I've met are natural. They are born homosexuals. Now we are pushed the dialogue by force. We brought this action for enforcement of his human rights. David, I know you've been struggling. But people like David can come out and speak sooner or later. They will be free. Prime Minister Gordon Brown came to see me. And what was he talking about? Gays. Mrs. Clinton rang me. What was she talking about? Gays. I sleep here alone. Sometimes I fear if they come and get me, I win them alone. Being a gay does not mean that God is not in me. He's in me. I see his love. If we are against the oppressed, they may think God is also against them, which is not true. I will stand for the truth. This court verdict today has shown that indeed justice is possible in this country. I'm not a continuum. No, we have to keep on fighting. We know what you want. Bye bye. I don't have your time. Yesterday, gay rights activist David Katotisule was attacked at his home by unknown assailants. We have come here to take our friend to his creator. Who are you to judge? God did not punish David Kato. People murdered him falsely. In the name of God. Blue angle Scott Lively. There is blood on your hands. That's the reality. Somebody spilled his blood, his brains on the mattress. Letters from Obama are not enough. As we grieve, we can't forget that we've been empowered through the death of David. We will work to take back the struggle. It's time for us to fight. We could not want to know our stories. That's one reason I decided to come out, no matter what. The captain said we're not here. But over it. No, the synonym of the queers here. K U C H U.